Hi, and welcome to A Jewish Mother and a Latina. Hey Viv, guess what we're doing today? We're going to do some quilting today. Yay. And we have our special guest today, Bonnie DiPaolo, Hi, who is going Bonnie. to show us what she does and how she does it. You have some great toys here, Bonnie. <laughs> this is a great room. It Thank is. You. How well, long have you been quilting? 2009. Wow. wow. This is this something that somebody introduced you to, or you were just like, I want to try this? Well, it, it, do you want the whole story? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The truth, the whole truth, nothing about the truth. <laughs> My son went to junior high school mm -hmm. and didn't need me anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I came home bawling. Aww. <laughs> so that, a few, uh, two months later or so, we went to San Francisco and I saw an old friend of mine. And I had my first digital camera. So she told me, take a photography class. That's not me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oops. but I, I understood it to find something that I liked. Right. So I found a sewing class, which I thought, oh, great, I'm going to meet people, too. Didn't work that way. No. But, I, but in the meantime, I did find the quilting class in Richmond Town. Okay. In that Colonial makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. In the sense. school. And that's by hand. They only do by hand there. Okay. But through that and through networking and whatnot, I became a member of the um, Moonlight Quilters. Mm -hmm. I am now the acting president. Wow. <laughs> Corona. Wow. <laughs> and my quilting lady friends have always been, they've been with me through my roughest times. That's and I right. always appreciate all the fact that they will, they're my friends. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. nice that you have that bond from the quilting, but mm -hmm. that you also discovered a bond beyond the quilting. Yes, right, very That's cool. Really, to, they're like a nice, beautiful group of women, and we all quilt, and I've learned so much from all of them. <laughs> so, Bonnie, what are the tools of your uh, your uh, quilting craft? What types of things do you need to start? Okay, to so basic quilting. Yes, needle, thread, scissors, material. <laughs> I'm looking at this table. And I know that this is not a typical that's a Home sewing Depot thing. <laughs> no, that that's um, yeah, it's from Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. And, and how does this fit into quilting? Okay, it's the best thing. I'm going to show you with a makeshift quilt. This is the minute. top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which I made with the AccuQuilt cutter. So, and a quilt is made with three pieces. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to move this. Yeah, yeah, that's just a garbage thing. So, this would be the top. This will be the middle, called a batting. Mm -hmm. There's a variety of different types of batting. This is a polyester, mm -hmm. okay, because this is not something that's going to be washed a hundred thousand times. Right. And it's also not going to be uh, using um, like uh, like a pot holder. So what you do is you make a sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So we pin it together. I'm not going to pin it now though, but mm -hmm. you pin it together, but in order to pin it together, what you do is secure it to the table. Ah, so I used device. to use um, masking tape, mm -hmm. okay, now I found these things, especially when you got a big quilt, where'd it go? Right there. Oh. Look at that. I'm sure Peter knew what that was. And then you put it tight, and now it's really not. It's not going to go anywhere. Move. And then you pin it. Yeah, and then you pin it, and then you take it back to the machine, and you quilt it. And you quilt it. Now, wow. when you say you quilt it, are you making little like? Are you taking something that's flat and making it look like a bunch of squares? Like, what do you mean? Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like I, when I think of quilts, I think of something like this that right. you're patching like a bunch of yes yeah. this would be the top this is this is a different this is an applique top okay okay, okay. but that would be a top mm -hmm. and then again you would do this somehow i hit it um but you would do the same thing you I, I, wow. all quilts are three pieces the right. back now more and more you're getting more backs that are almost as pretty as the fronts mm. So now, is this going to be part of a huge quilt? No, this looks like a big piece. I, I'm, I think I'm just going to do something like that one. Oh, oh to hang okay. on the wall. Yeah, to hang on the wall. Okay. Yeah. Um, I really just wanted to see how the eagle looked. Looks beautiful. <laughs> it looks really cool. Love Thank it. you. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. See, th this is a block. Okay. And that's like one of these. Right. And this is all a bunch of different pieces. These squares come in these sizes already. You can buy squares in sizes, or you cut but them I down. cut them. You cut them down yes, from different I, material. Yes. Okay, so that's... Yeah, I have some materials like, are all over the place. 
in the back. <laughs> we'll be taking a few pictures. <laughs> and then I see some embroidery here in the middle. Yes, that's yeah. from the machine. So you did that on the machine. Oh. So you first made, first cut out the squares. Mm -hmm. Then you put, then, and then you I put the, the Actually, then I put oh. the white piece on it. White oh, piece. okay. okay. Yeah, the then corners. I took the white, this white and put the green on it. Mm -hmm. Then put the white piece on and then put the green piece on Oh my there. God, look at this. Now this, this is your own so vision? Or is this something no, you this, saw and you... This you, one I have a pattern for. Okay. I'm going to okay. see the back. Let's see what it looks like in the back. Okay. Some people are neater than I am. So No, that's beautiful. That looks really good. But it's <laughs> all like... this. Is, these are all different pieces right here. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Beautiful. So yeah, so after you um, cut the squares mm -hmm. and you... Well, after you pick out a pattern or colors. Depends on which way you want to go with that one. Okay. You know, so if you get... You have a color. I have the pink. Oh, I want to make something with the pink. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do with it? Then you pick out a pattern for it, or you have this pattern. This, in this case, it was the pattern, and I picked out the colors because my my nephew is having a baby girl. Aww. So these didn't make the cut because I put the flowers on wrong. So what are you making? What are you, what are you making with these? Like a, a I made a quilt. I made a baby quilt. A baby quilt. For right, and I put um, pink in between, and then that's so beautiful. I put. This pink in between, I think it was, and then this on the outside of it. And I've cut a piece of material just to show you how the quilting is done. Oh, so you use safety pins? Yes. Some people will spray it to glue it. Mm -hmm. Some people will make um, like a needle and thread and make big long stitches to mm -hmm. baste it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I personally like pins better. Even though the one thing I hate doing for a quilt is pinning. <laughs> because the, how many times you have to take it out sometimes because if you fold the, the material in the back oh. you take it out you can still fold it even when you're quilting it straighten it out so yeah. you so, put a back and there's the batting and then there's the top piece right and it's just a sandwich okay, so you after you pin the pieces together what's the next step so I can do mushmash <laughs> or like checkers is that the technical term, mishmash? No, but that's what I look at. I it's think it's like, a great technical term. You know, it's mishmash. It's like, because when you have like a big piece and you put it on the thing and you can move it this way, mm -hmm. or like I have another piece that I put in and I can do like straight lines. That's the one I prefer. Right. Right. Because to me, it looks just looks neater. Neater. But sometimes yeah. I've done, I've done what I call mishmash and I think they, they have another one. When you do little tiny ones, um, it's called stippling, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Stippling. Not sure if I'm saying it right or wrong, or even if I'm talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's just little tiny pieces, like, I guess this would be it, the top part of this. Oh, I see, yeah. You okay. know, you can see it better on it. That's why I call it mishmash. Well, it looks like that. Oh, like a puzzle. It almost yeah, it's like no rhyme or reason to it. Yeah. Right. Oh. And that one's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. This was a, um, it was a summer challenge for the guild. And you had to make something that said the movie without you putting the movie on it. Mm -hmm. oh. So this was mine, and then I put it on afterwards. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah. So beautiful. And I sew it no sh with no shoe on. Of course. That, but some people should can, some people don't. It's okay. it's like a fifty fifty shadow that one. And this is the back. Wow. Oh. That looks so cool. Very <laughs> cool. Yeah. So then you would make a bunch of those and piece them all together? Is that how no, it works? No, no. I would make oh. it, see like that's a big one. Mm -hmm. So you would do, there is a way to do that. I. It's It's not that complicated, but I, it, you would make a bunch of blocks and then you would put them all together and make one piece and then put them on top of the batting in the back. And the okay. back could either be one piece or a piece together in any way you want to piece it together. Make another quilt on the back in some cases. Okay. Blocks. 
What is your favorite piece that you've ever made? It's called a tumbling block, mm -hmm. and I made the tumbling block is about that big, and I made four big pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. Okay, and the reason it's my favorite, it's my favorite piece of material. Okay. I was in Virginia and found it in the sale room, and I took it out and I called it macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it reminds me of the Kraft macaroni and cheese box. <laughs> Tell us about your room here because we see yeah, lots you have of things so much going fun on here. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> colors. I mean, just all the colors and stuff. So those are your threads. Are they and specific these are threads? also my three threads. And these are specific. No, these are all general threads. Okay. These here are for the embroidery machine. Right. Oh, okay. They're a little bit shinier. They mm -hmm. don't, let, don't right. always go with those. This is just your stuff. Ultimate. Yeah, just stuff. Um, do you make doll clothes? Is that yes, that is? I do make doll clothes. Doll clothes? I've oh made my all God. Those. <laughs> now, <laughs> I notice you have spools up there. Are the, do you use those, those are just them? empty spools for crafts that I haven't... So you it's you not can't necessarily wood for anymore. It's Those are all wooden. Oh, okay, wood. so that's for any kind of craft. Oh. Yes. So I just hold on to them. So what other crafts do you do then? If it's in my... If it's there, I'll do it. Okay. You know, like for the most part, I embroider, hand embroider, not just my machines. Mm -hmm. Um... I do other sewing. My kids are always ma, ma, ma. You know, <laughs> one of those things. Um, I do the doll clothes. I've, I've done other crafty things. Is you know. And done. before, before your son went to junior high school, you didn't do any sewing. Your mom or anyone didn't. Oh do no, sewing? I, I've been sewing since I'm in junior high. Junior school. high, right? Oh, okay. I used to teach it during yeah. in junior high. I and never got to take it. Yeah. <laughs> never got. To I made sewing. like a pocketbook. Out of jeans? Like, do you remember making? I We made do, do out of shorts. Do you want to see mine? So how many projects do you have going on at one time, at any given time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I have two that will never get finished. That's what they're called. They'll never get done. Mm. I have one that I embroidered all the bears that I started to do something with that I messed it up. So let's just walk away from it. I haven't gone back. Um, I made a quilt. I have that whole pile with the little foxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That whole pile. A starter. Yeah, yeah, starters. <laughs> yeah, you lost interest. Well, wow. it's not, not necessarily that I lost interest. Either. I wanted to do something else or something else came up and whatnot. Is this an expensive hobby? Can be. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it doesn't have I'm, to be. Well, I mean, a sewing machine in itself can be expensive. Right. right. Okay. But you wanted a good sewing machine. Right. And I started with like a hundred nineteen dollar sewing machine from Sears mm -hmm. with my sewing, and I did a lot of doll clothes back then, mm -hmm. and I still do some doll clothes here and there. Um, but then it gets crazy. <laughs> well, when you the more you do, the more you want to do. Yeah. So yeah. my girlfriend made for me. One of my quilting lady friends. Oh, wow. look at that. Okay. And I didn't use it until just not to when I was making this quilt. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to iron it to me. See how this is not really... Mm -hmm. So you want to iron it. But for little pieces like this, unless you do a hundred of them, I don't want to do go in the ironing room. Drag out that. So I do this for little pieces and it's just quick and it's done and I can do it. I didn't know they made irons in that size. Me either. <laughs> yeah. They have That's ones adorable. a little bit like bigger than more for this. For quilting and they steam and everything else but like if i'm traveling and i don't even you know that's the one that's furthest the you've gone for a quilting show uh -oh. paducah kentucky kentucky, oh, kentucky. <laughs> Woo paducah kentucky yeah <laughs> do you, you use corn husks to make uh, quilts <laughs> sometimes you feel like that